what a time to be alive to dive here in with me to our internal control frameworks. We're going to be talking about COSO. We're going to be talking about a lot of great points here. Welcome to the first lesson and it's the first step to being done with BEC. Now, I'm going to always talk about this entire exam, how there is a significant amount of memorization. And you might think, well, start me off great. Uh, thanks for the, the positivity. And that is positivity. It's wonderful that we have a lot to memorize. You know why? Because if you could walk into the BEC exam with a textbook, you would pass. I would tell you, you would pass. There's a lot of formulas that it's just going to be plug and chug, right? The exam is going to just want you to memorize formulas. As compared to audit, if I give you a textbook on audit to walk into the exam with, there's absolutely no guarantee you would pass, right? You would probably not do well. So turn your mind into a textbook, memorize these formulas. It's totally worth your time. You know, memorize, obviously this isn't really gonna be formulas. This is gonna be more memorizing components, which, which we'll get into, but I just always wanna make that point. Do not feel overwhelmed. It is time well spent on this exam to memorize. It's like you have a utility belt, you're Batman, you never know what you're going to encounter when you're on patrol. So you want to memorize everything, fill your utility belt with all the tools you can to be ready for whatever the exam throws at you. Never feel overwhelmed when I'm telling you to memorize this, memorize that. I'll reiterate all of my strategies throughout the process as well. I, when I was studying, I did what I called the Bart Simpson approach, where if any of you are familiar with the Simpsons, right? Bart gets detention. He's got to write, uh, you know, I will not uh, write bad words on the chalkboard over and over again. And well, that is a great way to memorize something is just obviously being able to do it and rewriting it over and over. We've got a bunch of components that you need to memorize here. Lots of words and words associated with those words. So rewrite them. Take a sheet of paper and every morning, every night. I mean, obviously. Do it more if you if you have the mental capacity to rewrite all the components, all the formulas over and over, so you just have them ingrained in your mind. You know, it, it, for months after the exam, I could still rewrite the entire front and back, tiny little handwriting. I filled the whole thing with all of the ERM, COSO, uh, CAP, M, WAC, all these formulas and, and and points to memorize. These are going to serve you well. And enough about that. I could go on, but I just wanted to set the tone immediately as we're getting into this exam. We're going to prepare you well, but there's a lot of homework on your end to memorize all of these. And if you can do that, you will do great. Let's dive into our learning objectives for our internal control frameworks. Okay, well, a couple of learning objectives here. We want to identify components, principles, and underlying structure of the COSO internal control framework. What is that? What the heck is that? Why are you not telling me what it is? Well, I will tell you what it is when we actually dive into what we're going to talk about. Uh, also, we want to apply the COSO internal control framework to uh, identify entity and transaction level risks related to an organization's compliance, operations, and reporting objectives. Lastly, describe the corporate governance structure within an organization. We'll see that pretty soon. Got your investors, board of directors. We'll have a, a spider web sort of a framework for who, do you, who reports to who, um, you know, how a company is generally structured. Obviously, it does differ depending on the structure and the, the company, but generally, most companies are going to have a C, CFO, C, CEO, all of those, uh, C-suite. Awesome. Let's get into this. I'm ready to have a great time. I hope you are as well. Hold nothing back and let's get to it. Hey there. Are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material. We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence, knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together. <laughs> 